Okay, really quick, let's learn how to make an object go in a circle. For example, in this case, the moon, which is going around in a circle. How do we do that just in Keynote? Now, you may already know how to do a path from point A to point B. For example, let's get an airplane up here. Let's pull this one down here. And let's say we want to go from Seattle to Tokyo. So we just go to Shape and the Pen tool. We go from Seattle, Tokyo, make it a little more realistic. So we select the path and we select the object, the plane in this case. And then we go up to Format, Shapes and Lines, and make Motion Path from Shape. In this case, the shape is this one. And we can turn the plane a little bit and we can choose a line to path. Give it a little bit longer and we'll just test it out. And you can see we go along like that. And we can make it invisible as well if we just want the plane to go. We can turn down the opacity and the plane will still go. Okay, so using the same principle, we can make an object go in a circle. So what we can do though, rather than use the pen tool, because we want a circle, so we can just choose a circle right here. And we put it right in the middle. Then if you hold Option and Shift, it'll kind of come out right from the middle. And it's the edge that we want to be our path. So that's good. Now you could always turn down the opacity like this if you want to move it around or you want to experiment with making it elliptical or something like that. But we'll just go with a circle. So we have our shape. Then we hold Shift key down and choose the object that we want to go in a circle. Then go up to Format and Shapes and Lines and make Motion Path, just as we did before. So yeah, that's the path that I want. And you can see it there. And I can get rid of the, the shape. I don't really need that anymore. So we can see if we choose here, we can see that we have a path here. And it's a move and that's a little fast. So we just do something like this and when we can preview it. Yeah, okay, so we have a complete circle. Of course, this is not exactly to scale. The moon would be 88 times further, <laughs> further away than this. And it's the orbit is not obviously exactly the same. But the Earth is spinning, the moon is spinning. But at least we could have the moon going counterclockwise. So how do we do that? So we'll start here again with our object. So we do it the same, but there's something we need to do. We'll just flip it. So again, we hold the Option and Shift so that we can pull it out. And just for fun, let's make it sort of uh, elliptical, let's say, something like that. Again, maybe format. Eh, yeah, that looks okay. So I have that selected, but then I go to Arrange and flip it. Okay, you can't see the change, but it did change. Just remember that you did change the, the direction. So hold this down and then choose the object and same way go to Format, right? And choose this. And now you see it starts over here. We don't need the shape, right? Because we have our path, there it is. And then how long do we want our path to be? Let's say, uh, or sorry, the video of the Earth is 20 seconds. So I'm gonna make the moon exactly 20 seconds. And I'll show you at the end why we do that if we wanna export it as a video. In terms of build order, the movie will start, I want it to start automatically. So just after the transition and everything else, I want to start with it. Okay, so all, all of these are with build one. So if we play this, we see that the moon is moving around in counterclockwise fashion. Okay, let's say we're going to make a plane just go around the circle. So we choose a different airplane. Let's say this one. Here we go. And we want it to go all the way around. So remember how we do that? So we go shape, option shift. Want to go something like that. So we have that chosen and we choose the airplane. And then we go to format and shapes and lines and make motion path from shape. Right? And there we have it. And we don't need the shape anymore. So we got rid of that. But we have it. There it is. That's what it's going to do. Let's preview. How does that look? Well, okay, but the plane is not going around. It doesn't look like it's flying around, right? So what we can do is first we have to get it to a path. So we can just shape it. So we want it to go something like that around the path, right? And then we choose a line to path. So this is going to follow it. So here we go. Now it goes all the way around as you would expect it to. So if we play it, it looks like this. And you can have more than one. For example, here I have five planets. So all the planets, these five planets, are spinning. Right, these are five videos which are following the path. So I made a path for each one, and that works. So in this one, it's like a, a patch. So we have a patch for you know a children's uh, shirt or something, a space alien's patch. But I also put a path on the rocket so the rocket can go around. come out, and then we can fade to the patch on the child's shirt. 
And that's just done in Keynote. So how I did that is this is the, the patch. It's just a PNG file, but that's actually a video on top with this kind of crazy path that I did. It's just basically a circle, but then you can kind of mess with these things to change the shape of that. That's all that is. So if we preview that, you can kind of see. Comes out, goes around, yum, 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 yum. Okay. All right, so that's how you make a circle. So I have Earth here, and I can check how many seconds it is to make one, and it's one revolution, I know from this uh, video. So one revolution in 20 seconds, and coincidentally, this moon also will make one revolution in 20 seconds. So we just wanna make sure that this moon will also make a loop around in 20 seconds, so that we can export it and then bring it back in and put it on a loop. Okay, so we go here. Right now it's at one second, I think. So yeah, no, it's at 20 seconds. Okay, so I have 20 seconds chosen for this loop around. So what we do is we export it as a movie from, in this case, slide three, just one. So it's slide three to slide three. And I'm choosing 60 frames per second to make it a little bit more smooth, although you're watching it in 30 frames per second on YouTube, so not sure it makes a difference, but here in Keynote, it looks a little better. We'll just call this Moon 3. Let me just put that on the desktop for a while. So here I've opened it up in QuickTime, so I can see it starts right away, and it's 20 seconds long, so that should be, that's the beginning, and that's the end. Sometimes there's an extra frame or so, but it looks like it's looks okay because of course it's going to loop so this is the beginning and this is the end and then we want it to start again in kino but we don't want to see any kind of flicker or any motion we want it to look like it's just going round and round so let's just put this on our first slide so here we go this is actually just this is the video that we just made you can see so what we do is we go to format and movie and we'll just have it play automatically but we want it to loop so let's see what happens so the moon is going around this should take about another 15 seconds and counting. I don't know, it's a little bit jerky. It's not the smoothest, you know, uh, rotation. The moon is okay, its rotation is okay, but the original videos are not the best. But, you know, it's okay. But here is the key. Right now, it's gonna get back to the beginning. Can you see a glitch in it at all? There was a, a tiny glitch. Most people wouldn't even notice it. So this will just go around and around endlessly. All right, so that's how you make an object go in a circle. <laughs>